Dive into Hanoi's pulsating city streets and you'll capture the essence of Vietnamese life. The country's capital is a burgeoning economic center that still clings strongly to traditional culture, managing to be a showcase of both old and modern Vietnam. The Old Quarter District is Hanoi's main tourist attraction. It hums with street vendor action and the cafes and restaurants are vibrant, contemporary scenes. Just trying to cross a road here can end up being an adrenaline fueled escapade. When the crowds begin to wear you down, Hanoi has a bundle of places to visit where you can escape for some peace. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Hanoi. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, boat trip to the Perfume Pagoda Complex. Set on the slopes and cliff tops of Huang Tich Mountain, the Buddhist temple complex, with several pagodas, is a popular day tour from Hanoi as much for the scenic journey there as to visit the pagodas themselves. After a 60 km drive south from the city, you access the Perfume Pagoda by first taking a one-hour boat ride on a river rimmed with lush cast mountain scenery all along the way to Huang Tich Mountain, and then either taking a cable car with excellent aerial views of the mountains up to the temple complex or hiking your way up the slopes. The Pagoda Complex is an important place of pilgrimage for Vietnamese visitors who come here to leave offerings for cures for childlessness and health issues as well as other problems. At 9, photograph Hanoi's train street. The skinny alley and its train line about halfway between the Imperial Citadel and St. Joseph's Cathedral in central Hanoi has become world famous in recent years due to the fact that passing trains run with only around a 20 centimeter gap between the train and the alley's houses. Due to tourists acting dangerously and not getting out of the way of oncoming trains, the government decided to ban tourism on the street in 2019 and shut down the alley's cafes due to safety fears. Since then, there has been some relenting of attitude and some cafes along the route have been reopened. If you're here to photograph the trains, make sure to obey the street locals and cafe staff just before the train passes. The train schedule changes regularly, but there are usually more opportunities to see the trains go by on the weekends. At 8, explore the Imperial Citadel. Although it may not look like much at first, Hanoi's Imperial Citadel area was once the vital seat of military power here and continued in an important strategic role right up to the 1960s and the Vietnam War. The site achieved UNESCO World Heritage Site recognition in 2010 for its long role in Hanoi's past and the area's 1,000 years of history are highlighted by archaeological work that has unearthed the foundations of various palaces that once stood on this spot. There's also a bunker here that dates from the Vietnam War where military maps and implements are displayed. At 7, watch a show at the Water Puppet Theatre. Hanoi's water puppet shows are a great way to sample traditional Vietnamese artistry and entertainment and are an excellent evening activity if you have children in tow. This ancient art form first evolved in Vietnam's rural areas during the months of the monsoon paddy field flooding and today it is now mostly performed in custom-made water pools rather than outside. Performances usually center around well-known local legends and are accompanied by a live band using traditional Vietnamese instruments. Hanoi is the heartland of contemporary water puppet theater with five shows daily at the Municipal Water Puppet Theater. At 6, visit Hoa Lo Prison Museum. Built by the French colonial government in the late 19th century, Hoa Lo Prison Museum was originally used to harbor Vietnamese revolutionaries and any dissidents of the French rule. For many foreign visitors though, it's better known as the prison where American POWs were held during the Vietnam War. And the most famous foreign ex-resident of the prison is John McCain. The prison grounds contain the communal jail cells, solitary cells and courtyard, and the guillotine used by the French is also on display. There is a plethora of information here on Vietnam's long battle against France's colonial rule that details the brutal regime prisoners here were kept under. Two rooms also tell the story of the American POWs held here, with a video documenting their imprisonment and eventual release along with personal mementos of the prisoners.
Next up at five, see the exhibits inside the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. A must for museum fans and history lovers, Hanoi's Vietnam Museum of Ethnology houses the extensive national collection and tells the story of Vietnam's diverse cultures in a series of excellently well-curated exhibits. Here, the huge number of ethnic minorities who call Vietnam home are highlighted with beautiful displays of artifacts and art that showcase wooden carving, metalwork and traditional costumes. The garden area outside the main building holds some of the most interesting exhibits. Here, you can see the rural dwellings used by different ethnic minorities across Vietnam, as well as the fascinating Gia Rai tomb. And now at four, visit the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. A place of pilgrimage for many Vietnamese, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum is a sprawling complex set within the city's gardens that contain the tomb of Ho Chi Minh, as well as various museums and monuments. The actual mausoleum itself is an austere marble building where Ho Chi Minh's embalmed body sits in a glass case. Also within the complex is the Ho Chi Minh Museum, which has an eclectic collection containing Ho Chi Minh's personal memorabilia, as well as plenty of information on the history of the Vietnamese Revolution. Also worth a visit is the Stilt House, once home to Ho Chi Minh, which is excellently preserved, and the One Pillar Pagoda. This pagoda is a reconstruction of the original 11th century temple, which was destroyed by French colonial troops. At three, admire the Temple of Literature. The city's most interesting religious building is this beautiful and incredibly peaceful Confucian temple, originally built as a university in the 11th century. Today, the Temple of Literature stands as a tribute to the nation's scholars. It was here, in the medieval era, that the philosophy of Confucianism and literature was taught, and near the entranceway, you can still see the names of students who studied here etched into a series of pillars. Inside, a series of manicured gardens lead to pavilions and a well-preserved pagoda where a statue on Confucius sits. And now at two, stroll around Huan Kiem Lake. Hanoi's most well-known landmark is tranquil Huan Kiem Lake, nestled just on the southern edge of the Old Town Quarter. The major tourist attraction upon the lake is the small island, reached by a red bridge that holds Ngoc Son Temple, dedicated to three grand figures from Vietnamese history, La To, the renowned scholar Van Chuan, and the 13th century general Tran Hung Dao, who fought against the invading Mongol army. Another tiny island on the southern section of the lake holds the stocky Turtle Tower, best viewed from the bridge. And finally, at number one, explore Hanoi Old Town Quarter. For many visitors to Vietnam's capital, the major attraction is strolling the streets of the city's ancient core. This labyrinthine quarter of narrow alleys is the commercial heartbeat of town and has a history that stretches back a thousand years. It's a delightfully dilapidated place where the odd piece of medieval era architecture has managed to cling on within the modern hubbub of whizzing motorbikes, street vendors and pulsating commerce. If you look up while you're wandering, the area has plenty of vernacular shop house architecture, where merchants would traditionally live above their shops in very long but narrow two-storey dwellings, squeezed together on the alleyway rows. The back streets here are a great opportunity to soak up the buzz of Hanoi street life. As well as there being plenty of street food on offer and lots of pavement vendors selling fruits and vegetables, there are also stalls selling traditional medicines and Buddhist religious trappings. A relic of French colonial rule, right in the heart of the Old Town Quarter, St. Joseph's Cathedral was built in 1886 and is a fine example of neo-Gothic architectural style. The facade is intricately decorated with two bell towers, while inside are some delicate stained glass window details. The main entrance is kept locked except for mass. At other times you can access the interior of the church from the back through the offices for the Diocese of Hanoi. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Hanoi. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.